We live in a pretty advanced age. Some of us can't even remember a time when we didn't use a computer on an everyday basis. Being a college student, I can't even imagine living in a world where I couldn't just search for the answer to a question I have on my homework by means of the internet. Surprisingly, though, most of our advanced technology is less than a century old. The first electronic digital computers, for example, were built back in the 1940s and were approximately the size of a large room. Now we have smartphones that are essentially tiny computers that we can carry around in our pockets. The first email wasn't sent until 1971, where the two computers were sitting right next to one another. Now we can email, text, tweet, or Facebook our friends from almost anywhere in the world and have them respond in no time. All in all, it's pretty crazy how far we've come in so little time and how we keep progressing at such a high rate. Computers are a part of everyday life now, not just some crazy notion that you only see in science fiction films. But how many of us actually understand what is happening when we use the internet to find what hairstyle would look best with our long face, or how to vaporize the amount of space aliens required to move on to the next level in our favorite video game? We hear terms like random access memory, firmware, multi-core, or central processing unit, and most of the time we nod our heads and pretend that we fully grasp their meanings. But a great man once said, knowledge is a weapon. So let us arm ourselves. We'll start with the very basics. What is a computer? Well, just by looking at the thing, it seems to be a compilation of gadgets and gizmos that run on electricity. These physical elements of the computer are known as the computer's hardware, and together they make up a computer system. This includes pieces like the keyboard, monitor, mouse, hard drive, and etc. So that covers the part that we can actually touch ourselves. But what about what we see happening on our screen? This untouchable part of the computer is known as the software, which manages ideas, application, concepts, and so on. These two parts together are what make up a usable computing system. But before we conclude this video, let's talk about one more topic, one that ties these two components discussed previously together, the operating system. An operating system is a program that manages a computer's hardware. It is a human user's best friend and translator in the land of computing and technology. It provides a basis for application programs and acts as an intermediary between the user and the computer hardware. An operating system can also be thought of as a task manager. They are designed to optimize the utilization of hardware. It must exist in order for other programs to run. Let's draw a diagram. The operating system is what provides a software platform on which other programs, or application programs as mentioned earlier, can run. The user will usually instruct or interact with the operating system through a set of commands. An example of a command is rename for changing the name of a file. These commands are then accepted and executed by a part of the operating system called the command processor. So that about wraps it up for now. Thanks for watching and happy computing!